Hi, this is uh, Shihan Tim Laird, and this video is going to be about some of the basics of our niece. Now, whether we're doing a Dulce Padres Form 1, whether we're doing a Serrata Counters, whether we're doing Largo Mano, um, these things are going to always be true. All right, I'm going to talk about stance, I'm going to talk about grip, I'm going to talk about range of motion. First off, the Arnie stance. We're here, we're moving around from the side. Okay, so I've got the weapon out in front of me. It's got a little bit of an angle, right? So it's not straight up and down, and it's not flat. It's got a little bit like a ramp, right? My hand is uh, roughly even with my elbow. My elbow has a little bit of space between it and my body. My live hand, that's what we call it, the hand that doesn't have the stick in it. The live hand is being, gonna be against my body right here, all right? Up against my chest. My knees are gonna stay bent. I wanna be real compact, so my elbows are uh, uh, down, right? And my back heel is up. Here, knees are always bent. So I'm nice and springy, I'm moving, right? I'm always keeping the weight of the balls on my feet. I always wanna stay alive. Even if I'm not moving around very much, if I'm staying in the same place, I wanna have a little bit of a, all right, a little bit of liveness here. I'm not just a statue, okay? Now let me talk about the grip. I'm gonna get closer. When we're gripping the weapon, and I'm, I'm gonna grip with my left hand so I'm mirroring what you would do with your right. It's like a fist. Remember when we make a fist, the thumb is on the outside. Right? We don't make a fist like this, and we don't make a fist like this. Right? That's a fist. When I grip the weapon, I'm making a fist in the same way. So all four of the fingers are gripped tightly around the handle. The thumb is going to come over the first and maybe a little bit of the second finger. Right? So it's nice and tight here. It's important that I keep a tight grip on this weapon in an actual fight because as soon as I lose my grip, then I have pretty much lost that fight. Right? So I need to keep this nice tight grip. Now we need to keep a little bit of the handle down here under my hand. I shouldn't hold it all the way at the end. That's too close to being able to slip out. Right? If I hold it too high, then I'm, uh, this is going to start to get in the way. It becomes a liability. So I need to leave about an inch or an inch and a half of space underneath that fist. So that's the stance, that's the grip. Now I'm going to talk about range of motion. We have five basic strikes in our knees. One, two, three, four, and five. One and two are high strikes, usually aimed at the head. Three and four are low strikes, usually aimed at the waist or the legs. And then five is a thrust. All right, It's a straight thrust or a poke, if you will, generally aimed at the, uh, the middle of the body. Now it's important that we understand that we need full range of motions on these strikes and we need to be able to target accurately. So full range of motions means I, never, I don't stop here, I go all the way through. There's the center line or where I imagine my target is and the weapon just keeps moving all the way through, all the way through. This is really important in partner practice because my partner needs to be able to uh, practice their defenses against a strike that goes all the way through. It doesn't stop. Right, because I'm anticipating contact, I need to go all the way through. And again, accurate targeting. Now, uh, Rinchi McCurdy is going to come help me out for just a second. So, Rinchi, go ahead and get in your stance. All right. Now, I'm going to uh, demonstrate accuracy. He's just going to let me hit him for right now. But again, I need to be able to demonstrate accuracy by making contact with the appropriate uh, um, target and then being able to follow through. We think of this like painting. Like I dip my paintbrush in a little bucket of paint, and I'm just painting a line somewhere along Sensei's head, or sometimes we aim at the neck area as well. Right down here, the waist, or the leg for the three and the four, but again, it's like painting. I gotta keep going through, and then thrust. All right, so I can demonstrate all those techniques with accuracy, but I'm going slow, right, and so that we, he doesn't get hit. Now let's imagine that he was doing a Largo Mano evade, or a meet even, all right? If I go like this and I stop, then that sort of doesn't allow him to do the technique correctly. So I've got to do my job as the bad guy when we're practicing together, and I do have to completely follow through on those strikes. If he was doing a serrata, right, he's going to have to move in, and he's stopping me from following through by doing the defense correctly. I'm not stopping for him. And then, of course, he could follow through and he could defend there, okay? If he didn't quite do the defense correctly, he didn't get deep enough, perhaps, or if he, he forgot his check hand, Right? My stick would probably keep moving, and that's good. That's how he knows that he has something to fix, and that's me doing the right thing as far as range of motion goes. Thanks for that little demonstration, Rinchy. So again, the stance, right? Like so, elbows in, live hand, center of the body. Stick out in front, slight angle of the stick, knees bent, back heel off the ground, always live. All right, the grip, like a fist, out on the end of the weapon, all four fingers wrapped around, 
thumb covering over there, just like a fist, inch or inch and a half of handle down there below the fist. Right? And full range of motion. Every time you strike, think about accurate uh, targeting, know what you're aiming at, and follow through. Those are the Arnie's basics.